what's next for you then? Come on. Next for me, I'm just carry on working. Carry on working. Are you still loving it? I'm loving it. You I really are enjoying it. I always doubt them weeks where you know you sit there in the dressing and you're like, no, not again. No, not again. Yeah. I'll other than that, no, I'm absolutely I'm still loving it. It does. And um, you know, I need to talk to you about the scene um, because it's going through a bit of a change, isn't it? It's a, a little bit quieter than what we're used to and. Pride made a statement last week, I don't know if you saw or not, saying that it's still a tourist destination and mm. it's still it's still very much a, um, a firm favourite and that we're all working really hard to, to do it best. But then you've got the politician can. that's in charge of city centre slagging the village off in it, saying that so, if it doesn't sort itself out, it's got five years, basically. Well, I don't know about that, so that's mm. you just totally another bombshell on me. So for you as... Um, you're not just an entertainer in the village, you're a, a publican, you know, you, mm. you have your own venue and stuff. Are you happy with, with how it's been marketed and promoted and... Um, I think it's lost a bit of glamour. It has, right, okay. Are you part of the whole VBA thing? And, no, I'm not. You know, no. Right, okay. So, okay. So, so for you, when you're planning your months ahead, so you're planning about Easter and everything, so, are you happy and confident in the village itself, or do you think it needs... The village needs one thing, and that it needs the whoever's in charge to have more police up and down the street. That's the trouble with no one's in charge of it, are they? No. It's a, it's a street. Yeah. It, it, it's like... But we have got a politician that is glad to take everybody's tax. Right. So he's basically pretending to be in charge of it, and yet he doesn't do enough okay. to look after it. So in your little... In, not in your little world at all, that's wrong. In Belinda's world... Mm -hmm. How would the village function seven days a week? The simple by having different things going on all the time. Right. I mean, it, I mean, it, karaoke's everywhere. Can you? But it's the last resort because the people aren't coming out for all the week. It's cheap, now. isn't it? And it's, it's cheap. cheap. You don't put a machine in. Yeah. With a DJ. Yeah. So that's no. I've I've hosted karaoke before. Well, I so you as well. So that's not, not saying anything. Before against all the karaoke there, queens but, start sending in. Horses' heads and stuff like that. That's true, that's true. But there's and other things that, that can be done. But do you not think as well, one venue does something and they all copy it and then... Well, I think, as down. I found out with, with doing this, um, this drag idol, that you seem to want to do something, but before you've even got a chance to do it, you're being put down for yeah. trying to do it. So I think everyone needs to kind of work a little bit better together. You do. Because and ultimately, we're all aiming for the same end all little way. fragments in there as well. Mm. Is, you know, they all come under the same umbrella of Canal Street, but they're all... Well, that's why we've always tried to be a, an early, early venue. So we get them in, we finish, and, you, and we leave it to the clubs. We don't want to pretend to be a club, we want to be but, a pub with a show bar. But we were talking about um, the four shifts on Saturday night. Yeah. And when I um, first went to the Union eight, nine years ago, we, um, we, we got there for eight. Mm -hmm had a couple of gyms, mm -hmm. started at nine, and at nine o'clock we worked all the way through till two, and we were full of the same people, predominantly, yeah. we're, we're smoking, we're, we're smoking, you know, the smoking side and everything else, and I think that killed a lot of it, mm -hmm. totally, but now it's in shifts, you're yeah. full, they go, Yeah. full, you go, and you think to yourself, as a DJ or a hostess, what have I done wrong? Yeah. What have I done wrong? And, you, and you've done nothing wrong at all because you know what you're doing, you know if you play. Yeah. You know, if you, you know if you play if you're playing Katy Perry Firework <laughs> and the club empties, then you're not pretty much doing anything wrong. Yeah. But it's a four four or five shifts a night. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, 